Hey guys, welcome back to Canva Workshop. Today we are going to make a blue Egyptian water lily. They originally grew along the banks of the Nile River in the ancient Egypt. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for our weekly tutorials. If you like what we're doing, you can also join our not so secretive community on Patreon. Link in description. First of all, flower center. We're going to color two strips of 90 gram beige crepe paper in 10 times 2.5 cm. Color the strip with a bluish purple acrylic. I've mixed mine with the red and blue. Give the paper strip a small pull and wait for the paper to expand itself so you can color in between the creases. Because of the moisture, the 90 gram paper will expand dramatically and become more fragile. Put it aside to dry. After the paper is dried, the paper will be slightly stronger and wavy. Give it a little stretch to straighten it. Cut two strips of 10 x 4 cm 90 gram yellow paper. Trim the two ends away and cut the colored strip into half. Paint the back of the paper strip with the PVA glue. Attach the yellow strip to the edge of the colored strip. Do the same to the second colored strip and place it right on top. Try to smooth it out gently. Do exactly the same to the second yellow strip. Once they are dry, trim the two ends away and trim the top 1cm away. Then cut the top 2cm into small fringes. Twist the fringes. Fold the yellow crepe paper into half. Trim the bottom corners away. Do the same to the second strip. Now we can put them together. Add the hot glue to the folding. Roll the flower center together with a hollow in the middle. The flower center is just about 1.5 cm in diameter. the purple fringes to get a more pointy flower center. Take out a piece of flower stem which is three pieces of 18 gauge wires wrapped together. Bend a loop on the top. Add a generous amount of hot glue to the top and tuck it into the flower center. Add more hot glue to the bottom if necessary and let it cool down. Meanwhile, give the second strip of flower center a little twist. Adjust the height of the second strip so it is just slightly shorter than the flower center. Add the second strip to the flower center with yuhu glue. Expand the flower center and curl the tips inwards. Now we are going to color some petals. The coloring method is very similar to the flower center. This time we just need to color the paper strip according to the height of the template. Once it's dry, paint half of the back side with PVA glue. And 
fold the paper into half and let it dry again. Then we just need to cut the petals out according to the template. Pick the smoothest side as the inner side. Now we are going to add details to the petal, mixing to a dark bluish purple. Use a small brush to draw a middle line from the top to the middle and color the edges of the tip. Get another brush to color the bottom to the middle with a thin layer of white. Blend the edges and the white together. Then we can move on to shaping. Fold the petal in half and flatten all the creases with your fingernail. Open it up and fold the top edges to the middle. Let it drop off evenly to the bottom and fold the bottom together. Then we can start adding the petals to the flower center with UV glue. Start from the smallest petals. We will need 8 petals in the first layer. Add another layer of small petals in between. and a layer of big petals. Next, we need a few bottom leaves. Cut 5 to 6 green bottom leaves with a small petal template. Curl the top and the bottom. Add them to the bottom with some new glue. Finish the flower off by wrapping the bottom leaves to the stem. And we are done. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you will like it. If you like it, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel. It will really help our channel to grow. Stay tuned for our weekly tutorials. And all our DIY kits and templates are available on our website. Check them out. See you guys next week.